talking with publisher Ted Savis. And uh, Ted, what is your favorite what if of the Civil War? My favorite what if is based on research I've been doing on George Raines and the Augusta Powder Works and some of the private letters and, and memorandums I've found uh, between him and Albert Sidney Johnston. The South had almost no gunpowder for most of the first year. They imported some, they made very little, and almost all of what they did was a bluff. It's a lot of new research. It's gonna surprise a lot of people, but there really wasn't enough for more than major skirmishes in the entire West and in the East fighting uh, two or three battles and that was it. So what if Halleck and Buell had just marched uh, through Kentucky and started fighting? How long would that uh, line have held there in the South? Very, very short time. If you look at all the major battles along the coasts, uh, Hatteras and, and, and Port Royal and some of the others, they were primarily lost because the South ran out of gunpowder, ran out of artillery shells, uh, and they were playing a giant uh, game of bluff for about a year. That's one of my greatest what ifs. What if the North had just moved, even if they'd lost tactically, they would have won strategically. It's a great what if. What got you interested in the powder works in the first place? Uh, I started uh, discovering George Raines and started looking at his materials and I thought he played a really important role in the war, but there was just very little written about him. So the more I researched, the more I found, and right now I'm finishing his, uh, his biography. I've got to ask, you've uh, just put out a great What Ifs book. <clears throat> um, what do you like about the What If book? Yeah, I like uh, that uh, the publisher wasn't asked to actually put an essay in the, in the great What Ifs book. What, so. what if Ted Savis wrote an essay for the book? <laughs> uh, well, it, it probably would be published, but would it be done on time? I, you know, I don't know. <laughs>